The forests of northern Ecuador contain the most biodiverse and complex ecosystems found on Earth. Ecuador is a small nation with more species than both the continents of North America and Europe combined. Increased solar energy causes the abundance of species or species richness to amplify towards the equator. Located in Ecuador on the equator, the Intag Valley provides a crucial cloud forest buffer zone for the Cotacachi Cayabas Reserve, the last great unspoiled wilderness of northwestern Ecuador, where two of the Earth's most important biodiversity hotspots converge. The tropical Andes are the global epicenter of biodiversity, with more species found here than anywhere else on our planet. And the lowland Choco Darien Western Ecuadorian which is among the most critically endangered of all hypo-biodiverse ecoregions. The surviving forests protect a vast multitude of endangered species, many found nowhere else on Earth. In 1994, Ecuador's government quietly sold land in the Intag Valley to Bishi Metals, a Japanese mining company. The company started illegally test drilling, contaminating the Hunin River with toxic minerals, killing cattle and causing rashes in children who swam there. This prompted residents from the local communities to form a resistance and take legal action against the company. When a judge finally ordered the mining company to complete an environmental impact assessment for the project, the results were shocking. The mine would cause the toxic contamination of water sources, erosion, landslides, mass deforestation leading to desertification, a loss of biodiversity, including many species threatened with extinction, and violence and crime in the communities. With each intrusion, tensions rose between the company and the villagers. In 1997, the community resistance won in court against the mining company and Bishi Metals was banned. But the corrupt government simply sold the land to another company and so conflicts here have continued. Ecologists and researchers raise serious concerns over the project. The Cloud Forest Corridor of Intag provides crucial habitat for spectacled bears, Andean mantle lions, mountain tapir, and the elusive coastal jaguar. This mine also threatens one of the rarest primates on Earth, the critically endangered brown-headed spider monkey and Andean condors, the largest flying bird. When researchers surveyed the forest, they discovered two unique species of frogs found to exist nowhere outside the concession that will go extinct if mining goes ahead, a key detail in the legal battle to save the forest. 
there are more new species living here which haven't yet been discovered. Fortunately, Ecuador has become the first country ever to adopt the rights of nature and enshrine it into their new constitution. In 2019, a landmark legal case was run by the communities of Intag against the government. The judge ruled in favour of the area's critically endangered species and for the rights of nature. However, in April 2021, the government of Ecuador will appeal the decision. Observer groups and industry watchdogs warn the endangered ecology steep geography, high rainfall and history of human rights abuses in Ecuador make this copper mine the most destructive mining project in the world. The court's decision has global significance for Earth's biodiversity. If the rights of nature wins, it will set a vital legal precedent for natural ecosystems within Ecuador and the world.